This was really sad. I watched this. Kid Cudi seems like such a nice person. Um, and it's so sad. Someone hit him directly in the fucking face. Like, fuck these pieces of shit, bro. I swear to God. You know it's like a fucking deranged Kanye stand, too. I mean, that's my assumption immediately. Because, like, otherwise, who the fuck else would do some shit like this? The Kid Cudi of all people, right? They show who did it? Oh, really? Yo. Kanye haters shaking my head? No, I mean, I love Kanye's music, but some of his dick riders are fucking insane. Like, when you throw a fucking thing at... He's already, like, very openly, like, a depressed dude, right? You're throwing a fucking... You're throwing something at him uh, through from the crowd. Like, you went there just to, like, throw some shit at him and, like, fuck, you know, 6,000, 10,000 people's, like, experiences up. It's like when a chatter, when a gray name chatter comes in to try and derail the stream with, like, 30,000 people watching. You know what I mean? It's so fucked up. Isn't he the other half of Kid Seagulls? Yeah, no, but they had a falling out. Video the guy throwing the bottle. Fuck me. Ain't no way mate Cuddy walk off the stage, bro. That's so fucking whack. And you know, like, you know, hella people are probably going to look at that and be like, oh, he's so fucking, he's such a bitch. But here's the thing, dude. Here's the fucking thing. Like, I see this all the time. Like, there's a lot of fucking freaks and losers in the real world, but there's especially even more of them on the internet, right? They do this shit. They harass my friends. They try to harass me. And then when I fucking respond to it or when my friends respond to it, they go, bro, you're such a baby. Why would you even respond? Like, dog, you got what you were looking for. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're straight up doing this. Like, you're a psycho. You're a fucking psychopath. Like, you, you're, doing the, you're doing such a fucking weirdo, awful thing. You're ruining, even if you don't care about Kid Cudi's well-being or whatever, you're ruining the experience of, like, thousands of other individuals. You deserve to get your ass beat by a fan, straight up. Like, you, you deserve to have matters be taken to their own fucking hands in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, if I'm, if I'm out there, and some people fly from, like, different parts of the country to go to this fucking concert, right? Like, people are going to the Rolling Loud set. They want to fucking hear Kid Cudi. Uh, they paid a lot of money. They paid for a fucking hotel. Now they're watching the Rolling Loud concert. They're excited to see Kid Cudi. And then this dickhead throws something at him and causes him to leave the stage. I mean, if I, in that circumstance, if I beat your fucking ass, it is totally valid, I think. And demand uh, a refund from you individually. They paid a lot of money to see Ye. That's another, that's another problem too. Didn't Kanye just like say he was going to show up and then not show up? Yeah, it was Kanye stands. I ah, called it. Exactly. Dude, that's so messed up, man. That is so incredibly messed up. Rolling loud. Kid Cudi walks off stage as Kanye appears with Lil Durk. Rapper Cud's late minute headlining set shortly after being pelted by water bottles from crowd. Yeah, Kanye drops out, then returns on Lil Durk's set. Uh, it's just so weird. He literally backed out of his headline and then was in the crowd and did a song with Lil Durk. Yeah. I mean, the Lil Durk collab is cool, right? 
that's cool. If he just did his own thing and then also surprise pop in with like Lil Durk, that would be tight. But no, he has to be petty. Kanye canceled all his performance months ago, but Rolling Loud didn't take him off the lineup until the last week of the fest to bait people. Before we get into... Um, reminds me of being at the Cure concert early on, so the singer pointed out what? It's just whack. Ye came out playing one of Cuddy's biggest features. I mean, that's that's this, right? Like, I feel like that's... And it's the wackest way that they started this entire process, too. For those of you who are out of the loop, the reason why this happened, like, the reason why Kanye West and Kid Cudi had a falling out after, like, Kid C Ghost and all this other stuff is literally because Kanye West threw a fucking fit when Billie Eilish... Uh, when Billie Eilish said something, okay... No, it wasn't even just Skeet. No, it wasn't just Skeet. Remember? It was Billie Eilish. <laughs> it makes it even worse. Like, at least with Pete Davidson, it's like, well, this dude is, like, fucking my, the mother of my children, like, very publicly. Like, I can understand the resentment there. You know what I mean? Not that it's valid. Obviously, you know, women aren't your property or whatever. They can do whatever they want, but... um. It wasn't just Skeet. Nah, I thought it was because Cuddy was chilling with Skeet. No, it wasn't just Skeet. It was, it literally started off with Coachella. It started off with Coachella. I am not misremembering this. Skeet was the final blow, but it actually, I thought, so Billie Eilish said something about like, oh, you know, here at our concerts, like we value the safety of, of our fans or whatever. And then Billy and Kanye were supposed to be, uh, Billy and Kanye were supposed to be uh, like headlining Coachella. And Kanye was like, you are dissing Travis Scott, who's my boy. Fuck you. And, and you know, even though he's like a 50-year-old man, he was like, fuck you to Billy Eilish. Okay. And basically he canceled, he canceled his Coachella appearance. He was like, it's just, it's either me or Billy Eilish. I'm canceling my Coachella appearance. And then uh, Kid Cudi said something about it. Basically, uh, Kid Cudi said something along the lines of like, dude, you're being crazy. Like, you know, chill the fuck out. Uh, what the fuck? And then Kanye popped off on him. Uh, and then, uh, he said, you're hanging out with Skeet. Here it is. Kanye was disappointing new enemies. Uh, first target was 20 year old pop singer, Billy Eilash. I listened to the concert. Comment caused Ye to threaten to cancel his Coachella performance. Come on, Billy. We love you, Ray. Uh, Ye wrote in a deleted Instagram post, please uh, apologize to Trav and the families of the people who lost their lives. No one intended this to happen. Trav didn't have an idea it was happening. Ye concluded, yes, Trav will be with me at Coachella, but now I need Billy to apologize before I perform. A couple days later, he used Instagram to express sour feelings towards a long time. Just so everyone knows, Cuddy will not be on the Donda 2 because he's friends with you-know-who. Oh, I thought... Oh, maybe I misunderstood because he said, we all speak in Billy language now. Too bad I don't want to be on your album, you fucking dinosaur. He included a crying, laughing emoji before adding, everyone knows I've been the best thing about your album since I met you. I'm going to pray for you, brother. Maybe maybe I misunderstood it. Uh, maybe it wasn't uh, Billy Eyelash. The Kid Cudi disrespect. <laughs> Oh, he covered the whole thing. Sean C covered the whole thing. Anyway, the Billy thing is what broke it. Like the Billy thing is what started this like pop off uh, basically, but it wasn't directly related to that. I guess it was because he was hanging out with Skeet. Um, aren't we doing the same shit we made fun of the Channel 5 video doing yesterday? No, the thing that we were talking about with respect to Channel 5 was... The lack of consideration that like Naperville kids have uh, with respect to like rappers and and their actual lives, you know what I mean? Uh, especially when you're like listen to drill and you're like, oh yeah, go go kill yourself or go kill other like uh, black people. Like the commoditization of black bodies in rap music is not the same as like me talking about drama between artists and how petty it is and and you know covering it in an adult manner. It's entirely different than saying he ain't slide for Vaughn. 
You know what I mean? I, I hate that stuff. So, it is actually, I mean, it is a little bit more valid if it's not just about Billy Eyelash and just about Pete Davidson. Like, I can understand the resentment. I can understand holding on to resentment if I'm Kanye West, holding on to resentment that, like, you know, Kid Cudi is like homies with Pete Davidson. That would fuck me up a little bit. That's your, that, that is your baby mama. You know what I mean? That's like, I mean, it's, it's insecure, surely, certainly, but you know, and Kanye West is a very insecure person as we all know. Um, but you know, I, I, it's almost like, I don't, I don't really, I don't really hold it past them for that. Um, Cuddy has been friends with Pete Davidson for years. Okay, but so he's been friends with Kanye West for years too. Kanye West, Pete Davidson, Timothy Chalamet, and Kid Cuddy had a dinner party last night. Yeah, this was in 2019. This makes it even worse, kind of. Pete was there. Pete was there thinking like, man, man, one day. I mean, it wasn't even his fault. According to Kim Kardashian, it wasn't even his fault, right? Kim literally was like, I heard he has a big dick and I want to fuck him. That's what she said. God, I know too much about this stuff. It's so silly. Why do I know so much about this? Like, it wasn't Pete Davidson's fault that he has a fucking fat cock and Kim Kardashian was like, I'm horny after the breakup and I just want to... DMZ Andy, you do know way too much. Dude, it's just my Instagram, okay? I follow. You'll get mad at sports guy talk, but talk about this, lol. Yeah, I mean, I, I rarely ever talk about this sort of stuff. Listen, I just... I just keep my eyes out, okay? I keep my eyes peeled, boys. I'm always fucking looking out. I'm always figuring out what's going on in the world. Do you understand? That's it. I'm simply I'm simply paying attention. Pete Davidson talking about the Welcome dinner. Back to the show, buddy. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I want to show a picture because uh, Kim Kardashian was on our show a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And she showed us a photo of... Just show me, explain this to me. So you're out to dinner with Kanye. <laughs> Is that Timothy Chalamet and Kid Cudi? Yes. No. <laughs> What, what, what was and this? And I for? am, that is really me. I'm not superimposed at all. <laughs> That's an Breezy actual B, real photo. Yeah. Breezy B97, thank you for the five. Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, Cuddy's birthday. Okay. And uh, he was like, hey, let's go to Nobu. And I was like, That's awesome. Uh, I'm going with like, my manager and producer. I was like, Cool, that'd be great. So I got there a little early so I could like, give him my card, you know, so it could be. You know, I thought it was just like us three, you know? So I was like, oh, I- You're gonna treat with the credit card. Yeah, you know, okay. pay, you know sure. buy my boy birthday dinner. You that's know? nice. You know, cause he's like the greatest, he's, oh, he's the best musician that's ever lived. And yeah, <laughs> and it's like an honor, right? That's, that's nice. So I get there and we're outside and uh, you know, we order a couple things. I'm like, all right, this is cool. Everybody's like, you know, skinny and whatever. It's all fine. <laughs> Everyone's skinny. Yeah. Like, Thinky, not. Yeah. Think of the yeah. pocket. I was like, this is chill. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then Timothy Chalamet shows up, and I'm like, all right, also skinny. It's going to be fine. <laughs> no problem. And then uh, Cuddy goes, hey, Kim and Kanye might come by. And I was like, that would be awesome. And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so they come by, and we're out outside, right? And then uh, Kanye goes, let's get the special room in the back. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right, <laughs> cool, sick. So we're sitting in there, and I'm like, I'm like texting my, my touring agent. I'm like, yo, you got to book more shows. Uh, <laughs> getting real over here. Uh, so then, uh, you know.
more zombie. Can I be a chat reader for you? Basically, it's we would hop on a call and I read chat for you while you focus on what you do. $25 a week. I have an offer for you that would change your life. Bro, ever since I talked about Cobra Tate, I got hella motherfuckers in here that are so industrious. You know what I mean? They are just like... They are, they are out here, okay, grinding, hustling. It, it's just crazy. Here's a counter offer. You just keep watching the stream. And we don't do that. Boo. I know it's boring, but he's not a tater tot. He's from Carter's chat. He tried to read Carter's chat and failed. Okay. You know, the anyway, whatever. This story's boring. Um, but yeah, it's messed up. My point is, uh, regardless of like who's, uh, regardless of who's at fault with like the Kid Cudi Kanye West thing, and it still is basically Kanye West, let's be real, because like he is being kind of a baby about it even though it, it is stemming from a place of insecurity, but it, he is a human being after all, you know what I mean? Maybe definitely like a baby kind of human being, but, but um, his fan base doing this to Kid Cudi is so disrespectful, so unacceptable, not only against Kid Cudi, like not only is this so disrespectful to Kid Cudi, who doesn't deserve this, okay? But it's also incredibly disrespectful to the Thousands of people that wanted to go to Rolling Loud and the thousands of dollars that they spent to go to Rolling Loud and listen to Kid Cudi's music. Like, you just ruined it. You're not like, you're not a cool person. You're not sick. You're a little sick in the head for being able to do this, for, for even wanting to do such, such a fucking shitty thing. And yeah, I don't know. Like, like he's just like he's taking victory laps too, probably like, oh man, I make it I make Kid Cudi walk off the stage. The velocity behind that was crazy. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. That is true though. That is a pretty solid throw. Like I'm I'm kind of shocked. Beat a kid, lol. Somebody tell Katie Trey five to hire me. I got so much stuff to fix over there on his behalf. Lol. What are you going to fix, my G? So I measured in PR. We're going to clean up these media narratives that were never in your character. We're going to shine more light on your philanthropy. I'm going to double bag and restructure the fashion sense. I got to get you on a luxury dog for stress release in general. Email for my resume. <coughs> <coughs> Beat it, kid. Lol. That's pretty funny. Support black businesses, guys. <laughs> this is Kyle and Andrew Tate. What? Tope G's. I mean, that's the least surprising thing I've ever seen. Okay, bro. Why are you literally? I don't want to fucking follow every single thing. Harry Irving is on Twitch. Get him on. Dude, I want to. I actually want to. Stop sending me the NFT link. I know. It's a 9-11 photo, and I don't know if I can show it. Aisha Esquire, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Um, tell Kyrie to come to the Lakers. So I, I, I would love to have Kyrie, uh, on the show. I think that'd be great. Um, I tweeted about it when I found out that he was doing like, was he doing like Grand Theft Auto role play or something? Um, uh, and I'm, I'm totally down to have him on. It'd be sick. They didn't even show he got hit directly in the face. Yeah. No, I, that's what I'm saying. Like it's, a, it's dead on dude. That was a crazy fucking, that was like some. 
I don't even know, like Hawkeye, you know, like there's always like that one fucking superhero that has like a skill to turn everything into a weapon. He's like that fucking Russian guy on Instagram who like throws fucking spoons and shit at that wooden board. Just nailed it, dude. Hawkeye, Hawkeye, I don't fucking know, whatever. Those are the wackest, those are literally the wackest characters in every story.